technology is really the future of our world. Why are only 6% of Americans working in STEM fields? Why are we waiting for a change? How can we create change? And what's the goal of our team? We, Team 2383, the Ninjineers from American Heritage School, have spent over 10 years dedicated to teaching, risk-taking, encouraging, and most importantly, inspiring the next generation of STEM leaders. One way we set to inspire is through our demonstrations in the community. We attend over 30 community events each year. Our largest demonstration occurs in the Museum of Science and Discovery during their annual Robot Day. At the event, over 35,000 people pass our interactive display, which allows kids of all ages to interact and get a hands-on experience with our previous robots. In our journey to spread the message of FIRST, we face yet another problem, gender underrepresentation. Since 2013, we've implemented within our school girls excelling in mathematics and science, which encourages girls to become more involved in STEM. During this off-season, we held multiple workshops specifically for girls interested in the STEM field. As a result, our club has grown to have over 40% of female members, and the numbers keep growing year after year. However, high schoolers aren't the only ones being exposed to the world of FIRST. In 2010, we started our very own FIRST LEGO League team, which challenges kids to think outside of the box. Over the last couple of years, we've held biannual FLL tournaments on our school campus. Since 2010, we have also hosted annual summer camps for children ages 6 through 14. The camp has two stages, one specialized in FLL, introducing younger children to STEM and robotics, and FRC, to reinforce these values and help them apply it to the real world. Under the guidance of student mentors, children around the world learn the basics of coding, part assembly, and teamwork, which is then integrated into our FRC team through our unique and efficient team structure. Team 2383 is very much involved in our community. By choice, we ask them to volunteer and they happily show up for all of our open houses, all of our extra activities. They all do a lot of community service and when they actually compete in competitions, they are very, very good at building relationships and helping out other teams uh, through the competitions. Um, whenever asked, they, they give more than, Zach, than is asked of them, and they do it with a smile because they love what they're doing. So, you figured it out. Our goal is simple. We want to inspire and pave the way for a new and diverse group of thinkers. And through FIRST, these dreams are made possible. One robot at a time.